Granny. Um, Paimon knows she's called Granny Eats to Leave, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. And greetings to you too, other Granny. What did you just call her? Granny. Is that not right? You are Granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you're also a Granny. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. It's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the Masters of the Night Wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Exactly. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? <sighs> Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of beasts prowling around. Scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head! I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one! You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance! Oh. <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. So why did you do it? Because... Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Hey! I'm no ordinary Granny! Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? You're... Vegetables? Yes, I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Ugh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? 
<sighs> no! You should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? Oh, right. <laughs>